Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this text effect. It might not be your cup of tea. And a lot of times, um, Corel Draw could do a lot more if you weren't a laser engraver. You could, you know, make t-shirts and colors and, but we're limited to shades and shades of gray and black and red for cut lines. But this would engrave and I, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I, I just brought in the text, and first of all, we're going to go arrange and break the text apart. We're going to get it a little bit closer. I'm going to hold down the control button so it's right on top of the other one. We're going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to take our text, and I'm going to make it a lighter color. And I'm going to go ahead and give it an outline. Then just click on one of your words one of your lines and go to effects as perspective and just uh, and this is where you can play with it you know I've learned a lot of this stuff when I'm out watching a job run and I'm just bored and I actually have a camera that will uh, I can watch the laser and I just kind of play around I didn't really mean to do that I want to go to effects and as per perspective and this time we're gonna well let's see I can't remember yeah I went in so go in with this try to stay on the line so it'll be even and that looks pretty good the text is the word text is a little bit more but it's already given us some per perspective then take your word and go to the envelope tool and you do not need these two handles so if you'll just lasso them you can get rid of them then kind of get in the middle and grab that line and just go up grab your text word lasso these or you could double click on them you don't want those handles for this particular case get in about in the middle and just kind of do that now go down in the same flyout and get your extrude tool click on your item and then just bring it down Click on your item and just bring it down. And this is personal preference. You know, how how far you go and, and like that's too far. And really, if you play with this extension handle, it, um, it does it more of an offset. Now, that looks pretty good. And what we're going to do, we're going to select them all. We're going to break the objects apart. Go up to a range again and... Um, I don't think I have to convert it to a curve. But then just take your, um, I'm missing a step here. Let's convert them to a curve and see what happens. Break curve apart. Now you've got individual letters. So then you can go over your black and fill in your black. And because it has an outline, it actually helps you just, and I'll show you in just a second, convert to curves, break curve apart, then just click on each individual item and make them black. And our, our outline right now is a hairline, so it won't really engrave too good. So you need to make it a little bit more, or a little thicker. So now we're going to select them all. We're going to go down here to black hairline double click on it and we're going to let's make it one point to see what happens that's going to give us some depth now to engrave this this is what i would do we'll get this one out of the way for a second let's say you got a piece of wood and you got it in the top left corner and you're going to engrave this on a piece of wood and this is like i do in a couple of videos Grab your black part, hold down your shift key, and you're grabbing all your black pieces. And you could run select. Oh, well, I wasn't holding down the shift key. I'm trying to talk and select. I actually had the control key. And then just move them out of the way. Now, if you'll engrave this, and I'm not saying any suggestions, but it's a gray, so you want it just light. I'd go 100 feet at 100 power. 
Then let's move this out of the way and I'm using my nudge distance. So now I'm going back with my arrow key. That's exactly where it was. And then run this at 100 power at 50 speeds. So this is going to be good and dark. Let's get this back. And the gray will be a light burn. And it'll be a pretty neat effect. Now, I'm not going to say you're ever going to do that. But it's, it's a pretty cool effect. It might look good in, you know, if you're doing it for somebody or for a kid or, and just, or just playing around. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.